YouTube, good morning. Happy Saturday. It's been a minute. It's been busy. Um, thought I'd come on and uh, just say, hey, tell a quick story. So smoking my, I buy, I buy a pipe every St. Patrick's Day. I don't know why. Um, this year I just picked up the Emerald from um, Missouri Meerschaum. I think you can see that. That's a really cool stem. Really cool. Really cool cob. Uh, pretty inexpensive. And in it, some Independence Day. I've been wanting to try this from Missouri Meerschaum. Um, the reviews I had seen, this is the 2019 version, not the 2015 version. They added a lot of Kia in 2019, which made it more of a smoky or sweet. So it's a really vanilla, smoky kind of flavor. It's like Northwoods, as I spill it everywhere. It's like Northwoods, uh, similar to Northwoods. Um, you know, very sweet, very smoky, right up my alley. Join some high quality H2O. So, I was going to tell a story today about the lawnmower and the snake. So, let me frame this up for you. I would have probably been 11, 12 in that neck of the woods. Uh, because my grandpa was outside with me while I was mowing, which was, you know, as I got to be a teenager, that he didn't bother coming out. He knew I could do it, trusted me, and I would just take off and do it. So I would have been probably preteen. And I was mowing our hill. And our hill, probably, if I'm, you know, this is just rough estimates, probably from the road to the top of the hill, maybe about 70 yards, and maybe uh, width-wise, maybe... 50 yards, maybe, from neighbor's yard to neighbor's yard, you know, about 50 yards. There was a fence, so uh, a fence on one side and just neighbor's property on the other. But I was mowing that day. Grandpa was out with me. And typically I mowed up and down the hill. Th this day I, I had changed it up and was mowing... Uh, crossways, you know, just change of pace. And um, let me start by saying, at that age, and even at the age I am now, I am deathly afraid of snakes. Deathly afraid of snakes. Can't stand snakes. Not even dead snakes. No good snake. And, um, I used to love to mow. Always would bug Grandpa, especially, you know, my preteen years. Riding the, the riding lawnmower was just the best. I just loved it. Loved to do it. And um, so we were out that day. I was mowing all the grass. Got to the hill. Mowing the hill, like I told you, sideways. And as I'm mowing, and I'm looking down to make sure I'm keeping my lines straight, I see this snake out in front of me. And this thing could probably be no longer than a foot and a half, two foot at the longest. It's a little garter snake. At that time of my life, it, it didn't matter it was a little garter snake. It might as well have been a 30 foot anaconda for all I cared. All snakes were the same. And hell no. So, I, in my mind, as I'm approaching this snake, and this snake's just slithering, hauling ass for all he can do, uh, probably scared to death. I'm more scared. Snake doesn't know that. I don't know that he's scared, you know. So here we both are, probably crapping our drawers and just terrified, both of us. As I'm approaching the snake and I see it, in my mind, this is what plays out. What plays out is I'm gonna run this snake over because he was right in the middle of my path. And the lawnmower blades are gonna fling this snake out and up. And in the middle of the air, this snake is going to turn, realize that I had attacked him, 
and attack my face straight on. So basically a Chuck Norris type move of flung up, dodging the mower blades, being blown up by the, um, the swirling or the, the rotary of the blades, using that to leverage and shoot himself up, turning himself midair and striking me in the face. That's what played out in my mind. So when that played out in my mind before I got to the snake, I jumped off the mower. This was in the day and a time. This was the Sears Craftsman. Craftsman. This was in a day and a time that um, we didn't have those fancy mower will shut off if you come out of the seat mowers. Oh no, that uh, this was before that time. This was an older tracker. As I jump up, I'm probably 40 to 50 yards from the road. I would swear on my life to this day that my feet did not touch that grass more than three times covering that entire distance. So if you can imagine, it's the boing, boing road. Because I knew in my mind, if I made it to the road, that snake's not going to be able to get to me because it can't get on the road. In my mind. As I jump off this tractor, I hear my grandpa scream, John, what in the hell are you doing? Get back there. Because the tractor now is on a collision course with the neighbor's chain link fence. Still mowing, going. I swear before my grandpa even realized, before I heard that, I had already taken my three steps and I was on the road. So my grandpa was probably, he was in the neighbor's yard, I remember it vividly. He was probably 50 yards from the mower and the mower was probably 20 yards from the neighbor's fence. He wasn't going to make it. He couldn't cover the ground. Nobody could cover that. But I remember my grandpa, as he's screaming and hollering at me, took off and running after the mower. Of course, it hits the neighbor's fence and just sits there and pushes and pushes. And it didn't damage the fence, but it dug up the yard. So me knowing that snakes, in my mind, won't come onto roads, I proceed to stay on the road and walk home. So I walk down Sutherland, was it Summerlin Beach Road? Probably, a, you know, all I'm told, probably walk about a third of a mile, maybe a quarter of a mile. Walk down Summerlin Beach Road, take a right on South Bank Road, take another right up on East Street, walk up my gravel road to my house and straight into the house. Boing, 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 right on the sidewalk, not touching grass, nowhere near. Because in my, in my mind, that snake's pissed and he's after me. He knows I tried to kill it. I didn't try to kill it, but he knows he's seen me and I seen him and he was trying to get away. And all he knew was I came at him with a mower. So he's pissed. In my mind, again, didn't matter it was a two foot garter snake. In my mind, it was a 30 foot anaconda with a memory uh, to know that I came at him and a memory to track and hunt me down and destroy me. That's what's going through my mind. So, needless to say, Grandpa's pissed. Mower's okay. Neighbor's fence is okay. Snake, to this day, I don't know if he's okay. I'm sure the mower got him. But I wasn't about to find out. Nor was I about to go down there and look for a carcass. Because again, he's hunting me at this point. No way. Stayed in house the rest of that day. Wouldn't go outside. That snake's out there somewhere and he's pissed. And he's hunting me. I don't know if I went outside for two days. It took me a day or two to get right in the head. 
I look back now, pretty irrational, obviously. Understatement, right? Didn't matter. That snake, that snake was, 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 I knew it in my heart of hearts and in my mind that he was after me. Probably poisonous too. There you have it, folks. That's the uh, the lawnmower and the snake story. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. It's fun to tell, reminisce. Uh, I've got I've got a few more. I've got a few more. So maybe do some videos today. Brendan's coming in, which is fantastic. Uh, we're gonna play some games, um, and uh, life's good. Mowing season is upon us. We have plenty of snakes here in North Carolina. Not looking forward to that. But I know we don't have any snakes as mean as that snake was that day. Wishing you all the blessings in the world. Take care of each other out there. You get a chance, pay it forward to somebody. Drop a line below deck. Tell me about your stories with snakes. Love to hear them. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.